If garlic bread is good, and cheese bread is good, and pizza bread is good, what do you get if you put all three of them together in one? You get something that's effing delicious. There's no way this is not gonna be fantastic. Okay, truth be told, I haven't made it before, but I know it's gonna be good because all the components are gonna be great. And the garlic part, the garlic part, we're gonna confit garlic, C-O-N-F-I-T. You take garlic cloves, you cover them with oil, and you either bake them in the oven for a couple hours or you do them in a little pot for about 45 minutes. We're gonna do the little pot for 45 minutes because it's faster. And they become lightly caramelized and squishy and sweet. And we'll mix that with some butter. And then we're gonna do the cheese thing. And we're gonna make a no cook sauce. And there's gonna be pepperonis involved in crispy cutting baguette things in the air fryer, no less. Air fryer people, we're here for you. We get going with the confit garlic. It sounds fancy, it's not. Then the sauce, and then we're home free. And then we can yell, all the, all the oxen free. Which by the way, we just had a big conversation about. Is the term all the, all the oxen free used when you're playing hide and seek and you're, you're hidden and you're yelling to tell the seekers to come find you that you're in your spot? Or do you use it after? When do you use after? Or who do? If the seeker can't find you. Oh, yes. Uh, or if the seeker can't find the hidden people, does the seeker yell all the all the oxen free? And then they come out. We don't know. We can't remember. We're asking remember. the hard questions here on Sam the Cooking Guy. Let us know in the comments. All right, here we go. Process is very simple. This is three heads of garlic. And I've cut the little ass end off, the little brown thing, because I don't like it. These we dump into our pot. Simple. This is two ingredients. That's one. And the second one is olive oil that we want enough to cover this. And that should be just like that. Now we turn the heat on. You're not gonna see anything because, well, because it's gonna take a bit. We wanna get this to a little simmer, then turn it down low and just leave it alone for 45 minutes. That's it. And at the end of 45 minutes, you're gonna see what these are gonna look like and they're gonna be glorious. So you see little bubbles like this. We're gonna turn it down. We don't wanna boil this. I don't really even wanna simmer it. I just want it on low. Low, 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 all right? Now let me put this off to the side and we'll get on with our no cook sauce. This is 15 ounces of whole peeled tomatoes that go in our little bowl. You know the kind we like. Now you gotta mash them up. And the best way to do that is with a glove on your hand. But be careful. Look for excuses to use your hands. I do like to use my hands. I like to play with my food. But you have to be careful because they're very explosive. You, you see? Just as I didn't do that on purpose. I try and break them up like under the surface if you can. Wait, by the way, you just saying I like to play with my food set parents back across the world. Isn't playing with your food Ages. a good thing? No, that's aren't parents always telling the kids not to play oh, with Oh, don't play food? with your food. Yeah. Well, oh yeah, you're right. I might have been a, I might have done that wrong. All right, so keep it a little bit chunky. That's always good. And now we add a couple things. We're gonna add a good pinch of BFF. Got to season. Got to. We add a little Italian herb seasoning. Could be plain oregano if that's all you had. Could be plain basil if that's all you had. Little red pepper flake, always good. A splash of balsamic vinegar, just for a little acid. A little garlic paste. And I know we're dealing with confit garlic in that little pot, but come on. Last thing in, tablespoon of nice olive oil, and we will mix. If you wanted to put this in a pot and let it simmer, you could do it, but I don't think it's necessary for this. Okay, we're set until the garlic is ready. And after our time, look what we have. Look how gorgeous they are. I took my eye off it a little bit. It got a little more color than I originally planned for, but here's how you know if it's ready. Take one of them. If you can squish it like that, oh, it's ready. So let's do this. I'll trade places and now we take just the garlic out. Leave the oil and put the oil in something. You'll be able to use it for, God, everything. Roasted garlic oil, imagine. Sauteing some mushrooms in this for a pasta, vegetables, a little for your morning eggs. Store it in the fridge, good for a few weeks. Right now we're just concentrating on the garlic cloves and when they're all out, we're just gonna start to mash them lightly. We should have done this in a mortar and pestle, actually. And a quick presto change -o. In we go. And this we can mix. Oh, damn. All right, butter time. We're gonna add a stick of butter to this. A little pinch of salt and pepper. Glory be, look what we've made. Beautiful roasted garlic butter. Confit garlic butter, whatever you wanna call it. Now we can get our little baguettes and begin this process. 
Here's a little guy. Is it like a foot long? We'll just cut like this. Here's what we do. We get a little spreader and we get our confit garlic butter and we go to town. And you kind of want like a nice amount. You're definitely not going to use all of it. I mean, if you did, that would be a crazy thing. But this goes back into your fridge for use in all kinds of things. Back to that mushroom sauteing thing. Imagine melting some of this butter in a pan, then adding mushrooms. God, I just love the chunks of it. I, I can't believe the wind here. I don't know what's happening to San Diego's weather. Okay, when this guy's good, you're comfortable with the amount of butter, garlic, deliciousness. Put them on our little tray and throw them in the air fryer. Jesus God. We're at uh, like 380. I've been preheating it. In we go. I'm going to give it about two to three minutes just to start getting it a little crispy and getting the butter melted before we put anything else on. And check this out. Whoa. Goodness gracious. grab that and pull it out. Okay, I'm gonna admit that you could, if you wanted, stop right here. It's not quite crispy enough, but you could stop right here and it'd be fantastic. But wait, because we're not going to. Next up is the sauce. You remember our little uh, no-cook sauce? I've strained it a bit because I don't want it too wet, but I made it that way because this is not the only application for it. If you want it in pasta, you're gonna want a little bit more moisture. But this chunkiness, strained a bit, is gorgeous. I'm gonna give this just a little push around. Don't need to inundate, but you do want to make sure that everybody's getting some of everything in each bite. Oh, I'm really happy right now. I'm really happy. Next up is your cheese. Use anything you want. Parmesan, mozzarella. It's all good. This happens to be one of those, just a bag one, but that Italian blend. Perfect for this. There's provolone, there's parmesan, there's, I don't know what else. Who knows? There's no reinventing the wheel here. You don't have to go crazy on the cheese component. All right, I'm gonna revisit that little Italian herb blend that I had earlier. This, okay, and there's pepperoni, but I'm gonna do one thing first. I'm gonna pop these back in for about a minute, let the cheese melt a bit, then throw the pepperonis on. Like this, and like this. About a minute and a half. And there we are. Wow, we're all so close, fellas, we're so close. Let me take the kid out. Now our pepperoni. Put them right down the middle, I love it. All right, and in we go. Okay, fellas. Three minutes, and we're back. And voila, look at this. Look at the way she cupped. That's the prettiest little thing I've ever seen. But it ain't just about looks, because as you know, there's layers of amazing flavor in this. All right, I'm gonna take these guys off. Oh, the, the, the fat in the cups is the best thing ever. I'm only giving it one thing, completely optional, but I would, a little extra Parmesan. And it's just gonna melt right into the, look at it. It goes into the cups and it melts right away. There you go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is your, what do we call this? Confit, garlic, bread, cheese, pepperoni. Confit, garlic, cheese, pepperoni, bread. Ah, something like that. I couldn't ask for that to have come out any more pretty. Well, well, look what we have done here. See this, do you know what that is? That's the garlic confit butter grease. I'm gonna cut one perfect bite. Right there, listen for the crunch, and there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what this is all about. Holy f isn't it gorgeous? Look at the way the, the little pepperoni cup perches there. It's like a pepperoni bowl. And what's inside the bowl? Ready, wait for it, it's the grease. It's a little drop, okay, down the uh, hatch. It's outrageous. It's so good, it's wrong. And even with all that garlic in there, the garlic gets sweeter as it roasts in the, in the oil. It's, oh, this is heaven, it's not part of my diet. I'm not on a diet. It's not part of my general regimen, but fuck it. Mm. Recipes below, we want you to make it. Let us know what you think. If you have a request for something you want us to make, just say so in the comments. Sparky, we're here for you. Damn. And while you're uh, cruising around down there, hit the subscribe button and give us a like. Don't eat the same thing all the time. Please.